States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, thank you all for coming. We have quite a bit of business to get to today, so we will get right at it. First, we have the uh, approval of minutes from the 17th.
be able to host it out there. Um, we, it's not something we're going to do a lot. Um, as the site gets better developed, we're going to probably not run a lot of ATV races out there. But um, as we were walking through the woods this year, I, was, I had a crew of guys out there helping me maintain the trails, and I realized the best trails on the property were <laughs> the existing ATV trails that had been there from the previous races. And I was like, man, I really kind of need these guys back out here, and they happen to call the next week. And so. Uh, what we are asking is that on July 10th and 11th, uh, the week that Saturday and Sunday, that we can close East Old 36 uh, within the boundaries of our property. Okay. Um, We've done that before for the reason before they've been up there. Um, I think it was a small window, though. Yes. It went the whole week. No, no, no. It'll just be from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m and only during the active racing. And so that'll be like a 75 minute period, then there'll be an hour period, 75 minute period, and an hour period. Um, I have worked with Sheriff Cole. Uh, we are hiring two off-duty sheriff's deputies to be out there to help with traffic control and to make sure that uh, there's no problems with that. Right. And so uh, it's our hope that anytime we have a large event, more than like a couple hundred people, we will hire sheriff deputies right. to help with the traffic control. And you talked to Toomey's? I did talk right. to Toomey about it. Okay. And they're okay with they're it? They're okay with it. Justin, you okay with the plan then? Yeah. Is it similar to what we had before? Yeah, I don't know if they ever, did they ever close Old 36? I remember Bridgeton. Yeah, we did close Old 2 I don't remember if they ever did Old 36. Yeah, yeah, yeah we did. Yeah. Okay. Ambulance, of course, ambulance so you could get through that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, we are working, uh, we're having the Belmore Volunteer Fire Department going to be out there the whole weekend. Okay. Um, and so they'll have an ambulance out there the full time okay. for the guests. Um, one of the things that's probably different from that we're running at this time than previously, um, we are also in the process of, uh, we're going to restore the Sad Frank Dairy Barn, which is on the south side. Right. And so we're, we're working to make that a public event site for bridge festival, for barn dances, for weddings, that kind of thing. That's great. What a place that is. It is an amazing building. Um, but we are going to use those hay fields there for overflow parking. But we're also working to direct the traffic underneath the US 36 bridge. Okay. And so there's, there's the rivers, the bridge is much larger than the river there. And okay. so you can walk Plenty under, more room. Okay. you can walk on the, East side of the river, you can walk. We're going to put some paving stones down there, so you know it's all sand right now. Okay. Um, hopefully, if we have to use the overflow parking there, we will be able to sort of put signs up along the road so people aren't walking across the road, aren't playing Frogger Good. on the road there. Okay. But with that said, on Saturday night, um, I believe uh, the race organizers there, there's going to be no bands, no nothing after dark except on dark on. The, that Saturday, uh, they hope to do fireworks. Okay. And so they're bringing in a fireworks provider to, to do that. And so at dark then, people may be leaving the facility and trying to go back to their cars. And so uh, I'm, I work with, uh, to have a sheriff deputy out there to just basically sit on 36 with their lights on just so people, because okay. I mean, people probably have been drinking beer all day or sure. watch fireworks and they're not. So it could be a fundraiser for the sheriff department? <laughs> I guess that really yeah, if they're walking their vehicles, they're going to be good all day. That don't sound like it. Uh, like I said, no, we will, we'll be donating to uh, the uh, Belmore Fire Department uh, for their services, and we're paying the sheriff's deputies to be out there. So, You guys have any questions for them? Yeah. Concerned? Well, Bill, one of the things with the previous race that was a concern was that, and I don't remember the road, but the road that's east. Five uh, yeah, yeah. They, which would be on the east side of Tubby's yes. place. They used to get the trucks and the trailers pull in there to go to get back there. I will and say once they got back there, they couldn't yeah. turn around will, and they had to will, pull into people's right. yards. So we it asked them to close that road. 500. Okay. Or have somebody there. I think we'll have some, making we'll, sure all the trailers we'll went down to the sanatorium road. Yeah, that's that's us. That's so we'll, we'll that's definitely put a, we'll put a volunteer. We'll put a because once they turn on old 36, you were saying to the west. Yeah. You can't get out. They can't. They create a bottleneck yeah. for yeah. the trucks and trailers. Yeah. So they can't, they can't turn around. Yeah. So they had to go in people's yards and, and so. 
We'll put it. We'll, I'll put a. I'll make sure I have a person sitting yeah, so up there. Somebody up there, five hundred, and just make sure they direct all the trailers and the, the ATV, ATV um, vehicles down to to your road. Okay. Um, the other thing that uh, my next door neighbor, uh, Brenda Brown, was concerned about last time the ATVs were out there, because they are crossing the road perpendicular to the road, they don't run down the road, they're just going from one side of the property to the other, that it caused some gravel rutting. Um, I will try to get out there with my tractor and fix it, but I mean, it's, I don't know if the county would rather take their grader out there and do that. For. I don't I know what the county road commissioner feels about uh, private maintenance of, of the roads. Well, um, we try to discourage you just because yeah. you never know what's going to happen. Right. But, you, but you can talk to that with Amy. I'm sure they'll take care of this. And, am I thinking right that did we have Nick a waiver or some sort so the county's not liable if somebody wrecks on that road crossing the road? Because we, we are allowing it. I don't want yeah. us to be liable. Right. They maintain, I think, two or five million dollars of insurance on yeah, the race right. but they could put park county as a name yes as a yeah, name once before and name insurer yeah, uh, yeah we, we, we have to be the right. Right. Oh, my, we could we'd want that and a hold harmless agreement yeah. okay but i can type that up if you want okay yes let's do that yeah can i get with you after the meeting yes. get some contact you got time to stick around yeah, I can okay that way there's no uh, no chance of missing something here that we better so mm -hmm. you don't have a problem Saturday or something. No, that sounds wonderful. No surprises. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, no, other than uh, just uh, before I tell, I say it's, uh, I don't know, it's you all we talked to about helping uh, getting some of that, uh, while the county still has an easement back to those hospitals, if we can get, maybe do some chip sealing on that roll we'll pay for the materials if you guys can use your county. Well, Randy, Randy, about, Randy okay. about that. Okay. Randy be the one scheduling it. Okay. That kind of thing. But if that's something the county would be willing to do, I mean, that'd be fantastic. We we do that. I'm not sure why they schedule it. Okay. We've already done the chip seal that people pay for or not, but we have okay. a program to do that. Okay. So, Randy would be the guy to talk to to get that okay. set up. All right. And all, I, I think they, we do the work and he just pay for the material. But no. he needs to know how much material needs to be ordered. So he has okay. a time period he does it. I don't know what it is. It's already been ordered. I, I think, think so. he's already, because last meeting he told us he was going to start chipping. So it may not be available. This okay. go around, the next go around, we certainly okay. could. All right, thank you so much. Okay, yes, sir. I, I tell you, I just want to say all, uh, for all of us, I, I'm thrilled you're out there. I'm thrilled you're turning that place into something that's going to be something good, and I appreciate it. Thanks. Oh. Like I said, everybody in Park County has been absolutely amazing. I mean, good. everyone in the courthouse, everybody. Is, uh, the DMV was probably the hardest. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get the titles for all those abandoned vehicles out sure. there was probably the most challenging. Yeah. I don't hold that against Park County. Okay, good. <laughs> good. All right. Roger Davies. You're all on the alcohol board too, aren't you? Right. And you have a meeting coming up July 7th? Possibly. We have a lady that's going that's asking about a license. Uh, I got a call today about that at the old jail. I think there was something on the agenda. Okay. I just, I just told her I want to make sure it's right because um, Mike thought it was. Um, you meet at 1 o'clock in the jury room, is that correct? No, it's going to be our first meeting back to first Face us. to face, yeah. Okay. So I, I was right. I, I want to make sure I can give you the right information on that. So 1 o'clock in the jury room on the stuff. Okay. Okay. I'll shut up now. Okay. What do you got? Well, basically, uh, I'd fill out all the paperwork in April for a zoning change of, of 5000 East, 950 North, uh, property on Sugar Creek to. Uh, change it from uh, agriculturally zoned to what they call special exceptions so I could launch uh, mm -hmm. float tubes and or kayaks from that location and I sent all my paperwork and got back all the receipts to go to the meeting on May 27th and presented it to the Planning Commission and happened to be that uh, that meeting was to start at 5 and had uh, didn't have a quorum and waited till 20 after 5 and a gentleman showed up made the quorum for that meeting and uh, the Amish people were there also about their cheese factory and that all went uh, for mine both of them got recommended to the zoning board and we sat there for the zoning board and the fellow that was late to the zoning meeting was also on the her planning he was also on the zoning committee, but unfortunately he was the only one to show up. 
So therefore, it all got tabled a month out. Now, June 24th. And nature of my business, that cuts me out of one whole month of sure. operation at the prime time. Sure. And the reason I'm here is I ask, ask for the attendance record of the Board of Zoning that uh, were the commissioners, uh, delegates, nominees, and that meeting in uh, May 27th, uh, unfortunately made the third time that two of them had, had missed, third meeting in a row. Yep, that's so right. I question what their dedication to your I would agree. zoning board is, because if something happens to any of the others, I would agree. you automatically don't have a quorum right. at the meeting. Right. And uh, leave that with us, and we'll look at that, and we'll that's, review that. That's my whole issue. Okay. Well, I don't blame you a bit. I mean, we we expect to do business in the county where we're yeah, I mean, do that's, I mean, county I'm on that zoning board, and that's not good. if it's on the agenda and needs to be voted on, yes. it gets voted on at that yes, meeting. I, I couldn't agree more. Yeah. So that's my that's my whole issue. Just leave that with us. You will we'll we'll look at those and see where we are. Okay. Did you tell me that the uh, Amish have waited now for three meetings to get their yeah, approval but, for that cheese factory? But, but their deal, it was a little different. They had opposition at the first, and the man changed his location. We asked him to change his yeah, location. Yeah, he changed location, and now it's, you know. Yes. But there still wasn't any action on him, his deal either. I mean, he's got, he's got, he got shifted out another month. Yes. Yes. So, I mean, mean, quorums are always difficult, but we need to have quorums. So, if yeah, people well, can, I mean, can't be there, we need to get different people. If there. you have the same people me missing the same yes, meetings every month, and it comes up time for a vote, you're not going to have enough people there to yes. vote if you have one person. Yeah. We have what's that, left. We have that issue on, on many boards. Some some we couldn't uh, make any changes in midterm. Now we can make changes in midterm if we need to. We're going to be looking at a lot of those attendance. I issues. guess my other issue is just waiting another whole month when it wasn't my. Right. My issue. I, I mean, if you see what I mean. I do see what you mean. That I would like it a bit of a There, there yeah. was. It cost you money. That's why you're there. Well, there were six people that was eligible to be there, and now there was only one. It's not good. Because you have five plus an alternate. Yep. And, like I said, that. that uh, and if the some of those knew they weren't going to be there, why wasn't the alternate there? The alternate probably wasn't even aware that he was needed to be there. Well, yeah, I mean, that's, yeah, I mean, that's, the whole that's, purpose that's, having the alternate there. And I asked, I asked Cassie about it, and she says, I'm not these adults' babysitter. She, and she's exactly right. And she's exactly right. Yes, she is. But she shouldn't have to be making the calls. She should not. I, I, and they had, a month, they had a month's notice. I can apologize for it for us, but it's not us. It's the no, people that's, just that's, I realize that. It's just, we need to make sure that it's just the people that, are dedicated yes, to what, if they're going to serve. Yeah, right. we, need, we need new we talked about this before. We need to look at that list, the attendance list, on all, on all of us. We do follow it on the CBC, on the one I'm on, the Convention Business Commission. We do watch that. We have somebody misses at the end of the year. We just replace them with somebody else. Yeah, well, we I mean, it's just. I always appreciate people willing to serve, but you got to serve. You got to. If you're going to be there, you got to make yeah. the meeting. Yeah, you do. Yep. And that's 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 my whole issue. That there's a lot of money, a lot of money there, and the freaking I'm, I'm just. Fortunate I didn't buy liability insurance yet because that's freaking fifteen thousand dollars. And that would have been a month yeah. of dead space yeah. that I had that money insurance out with yeah. no income. Yeah. So what do you mean? What do you mean? That's my issue. We'll see. I'm actually no, no, that's what I was trying to figure out. I need to look at his list. I'm on the He's on the plan. Planning. Planning Commission, not the board of zoning. And I looked at him ahead of time. I did not make it last time. I was the first one, but I have been actually JV was the alternate before, and I was supposed to do it for the end of the year for him until he had a heart attack, or yeah. he had the heart yeah. issues, but then he got back and they left me on there for zoning, but they was aware that I wouldn't be at either meeting, but the five, those five, are the normal yeah. Oh, he's got to make sure that they're. I've got a circle there, the ones that are on their third miss. <laughs> well, third yeah, miss in a row. Okay. I'm, I'm not going to read these up in yeah. public meetings. No, no, I'm not. I, mean, I, just, I just want you to know why. I mean, I understand. Yeah. And when is the next meeting? June 24th. 24th. And who's the president of the board? 
playing more. Chris, yeah, Chris, Chris, Marshall, Marshall. Chris just needs to be aware that he needs to have a quorum there, and he needs to, to make sure there is going to be a quorum there. Well, I told Roger when he called me about this that, at least in our case, I think we do a very good job of communicating with each other. If you can't be there, you let us, Dan and I know, and, or if I can't be there, they, gotta have a, they just need to be communicating yes, with do. each other. Yep. And if, I agree. if one can't be there, the other, the three need to be able yeah. to be there. Well, you yeah, must notice something. Uh, that's, that's yeah. Well, and, and those are all good people, and they're all willing yeah. to serve. But, but oh, no, that's a tough thing. Oh, I, I know you got it. That's a tough thing with volunteers. The volunteers yeah. set them up, and I volunteer for lots of stuff. But there's volunteers will will say they're going to get something done. But then things life gets in the way, and I understand that, but it's got to get done. So how do, how do you push volunteers to go do what you got to do? Well, the board appointments, you do. you gotta, you got to be there. Yep. And when pretty much all of them on there have jobs, and getting there at 5 o'clock is pretty tough sometimes, it especially is. some of the jobs some of them have. Yeah. Then they need to change times. right here. Yeah, yeah they need that change may times. be what they had to do. We did that years ago because we used to get to 9 o'clock in the morning. That wasn't going to work when I was there. Yes. It wasn't going to work. I had a job. We had changed time, so they can do that too. Yeah, yeah. Roger, I'm sorry you've been inconvenienced. I hate for your business to be uh, be hurting as a result of it, but we will work on that and try yeah, to rectify that. It's fine. It's just, I just hope you address the, the being able to get a quorum there when there's actually a meeting. We got it. Yeah, yeah we'll, excuse you. we'll work on it. Yeah. You come back anytime, though. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sign me a seat. <laughs> All right, Jim Adams. Thank you. Uh, I'm just here to see about an update on Ferndale Road. I was here a couple of months ago. Commissioner and the uh, highway superintendent said they'd go out and look at the road. I was out there just last week again. Mm -hmm. In fact, it, it, Ferndale's pretty beaten up. Rocky Fork's beaten up more. Uh, but I know that's, uh, that is not on the list for paving. For the uh, for the uh, community crossings grants that we get, the three of us went out with the highway superintendent uh, a month ago. Yep, a month ago, looked the roads, and as beaten up as, as Ferndale Road is, it's not anywhere close to the worst that we have, and the kind need to be fixed. And we've gotten that process. The grant we're available to get is up to a million dollars a year, and we'll match. Uh, we we'll match twenty uh, percent, twenty five percent now. I think it is, or twenty twenty five percent. I think. Anyway, we our match. So we get about. If we get the grant, which we don't get every year, because the uh, DNR, I mean uh, the uh, DOT decides who gets those, so we get about a million bucks. That million bucks will cover about ten miles, almost eleven. It's about a hundred thousand bucks a mile. So unfortunately, we don't have funds to repay everything every year. Now I do know in Ferndale there weren't any holes that I saw holes in the road, but on some of those, the paving, that the patching job was about as bad as the hole because it's it's higher than the road is too. So it's a bump up rather than a than a drop down. So uh, I already talked with Randy about the, trying to get that and Rocky Fork in that area on the next go around for grants, but there's no promise on that because we don't have any control over whether we get those grants or not. But I, I did go out there, I have seen it, and uh, I'm, I'm aware of it. Well, you know, the other issue was the truck route. Yep. Yesterday I, I went down to the bridge in front of the store and it said from 5.30 in the morning until 8 o'clock. I counted 47 vehicles going out to 59. Nine semis come through and five log trucks. And they're just destroying it. And you guys made it a truck route two years ago. Right. On it. And, you know, the road. But they didn't bring the traffic in. The, tra the truck traffic was already there. We tried to, tried to eliminate it from going every place. So that was the chosen path for those truckers to get to the lumber place up the road where they're going. Well, they go to another one up uh, off right. the 300D. They right. take Walker at you guys' yes, the surface, yep. and it's beginning to crumble in yep. places because the long trucks yep. are running there. Yeah, and so none so of these roads were made for that kind of that kind of traffic. They just weren't made for it. So right. as we as we go through the process with the new pavements through the community crossings, and that's why we designated some for for uh, to be truck routes to try to keep those up as best we can once we get them backed up. But those roads are nowhere. No way intended to be uh, used for, for highway traffic like that, and that's only been the last ten years or so, I suppose. That, that, that would that be right? You think that the highway, I mean, the traffic, the, the semi traffic's increased so much. So those that we designate as, as truck, we're going to try to keep up to the level where they can handle the semis. But we get a lot of business now springing up, whether they be greenhouses, uh, 
sawmills, whatever they may be all over the county, and they're located on roads that aren't meant for, for the semi-traffic that they get. So it's going to be a slow process getting anything majorly changed to do that because we have other roads to take care of as well. Well, let me ask you this. On these businesses that are being built out there, are they being built under on agriculture land and not rezoned to business? Nothing can be built that's not rezoned. So anything that's been, that's been built has been approved through the Planning Commission. So they all have to go through a process to do that. So it will be the Planning Commission that decides if, if they can or not. Typically they would get a variance um, off of agriculture. I doubt very often. I used to be on that board and is now. There's very little rezoning. Yes, hardly a rezoned. Very few things get rezoned to commercial. Uh, there's probably a few reasons for that. One of them is you can allow a variance and change your tax rate, and we know that there's a business there. If they switch over to commercial, then the county is out of it. It's in the state's hands. So if they sell that place out there and someone else buys it and decides they're going to put a concrete plant out there, if it's zoned commercial, the county has no, no more say so over it, the state does. So if someone else buys that and wants to make a change, they have to come back to the zoning and start over to get it changed to a new business. So we kind of have a little bit of control of what's out there and know what's going to be at these businesses. That's most of the time the reason for, instead of changing to commercial property, to just give them very it's three acres, five acres, whatever they're taking up off of the ag land. And typically that variance only goes with the owner who got the variance. It doesn't yes, transfer it does. with saying you person. got that person has to re to, to re ask uh, to uh, continue that business. Um, but nobody springs springs up a business without being going through the plan commission, being being looked at and being approved. No. Okay. So is there any chance they're gonna do anything to it this year? Patch. 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 Did you look at the overflow? Causeway Bridge, the yep. entrance and exit on the, the one Randy, I asked him if he had a milk machine that fit on his skid steer because it was such an offset. Oh, I okay. asked him if he could go out there and mill that day. And they didn't have a grinder. Well, that's what I thought. Yeah. Well, there's a gap, gap like gap, you know, for the flexibility of the road and the concrete uh, form at, at, um, that it sets on. on it. Usually, the state usually puts a seal in there of some type, a rubber seal or some, something to keep. If they put blacktop in there, it's just going to pop right back down. Well, it depends on what kind of seats and chairs that bridge is set on. They actually make it a steel piece that actually is curved. If there's I beam set on it, it lets the impact load rock that bridge back and forth. So if you put something in there and that's hit with a big impact load, it can no longer rock back and forth. And then right at the entrance to the walkers, you, you said you went out there and looked at it, you didn't see any holes. It is so bad right there at Walker Boat Ramp and Ferndale Road. you got to come to a stop to, to cross that section. Because there's so How many about the highway? No, at Walker Boat Ramp and Ferndale Road, right by the grocery store. Yeah, it's your Walker Boat Ramp right heads north out of Right, and it's, it's from where the log trucks are making that turn and they're just eating that out. There's a Ferndale store. Right. This road's here. That oh, no, I did not go on that one. Yeah, I did not go on that one. No. Uh, I didn't turn off the front. I went down to Rocky Fork and went, went north yeah. from Rocky yeah. Fork. Yeah. Okay. So, other than just maybe doing a little patching, that's all it's going to be doing. Well, it won't be a little patching, but they, they do patching. I mean, they, they tend to keep all they can. Uh, we, we can't let it, we can't afford to just let it fall completely apart. We've got to try to maintain what we can. But what Jim's trying to tell you is we don't have the money to knock top that road this year. It's just. Well, they just went down and ground it. <laughs> a little bit to take all that over the recent years that's built up and oh, smooth it. Is Randy going to be here to see? I will ask him okay. again. I will refresh his memory on the grinder resurfacer and find out it, if he does have something that he can okay. touch on those high spots with and look at that down where the approach to the bridge. Okay. There is several holes through there. Um, I, I didn't look. Yeah, I didn't look off of Ferndale. I, I didn't. Yeah, look off on Ferndale Road. Road from the. From where it, about an eighth of a mile east of the dam road, it goes up to the over, uh, dam mm -hmm. on it. That's all perfect. Then the eighth of a mile past that, it just turns into. Crap. I know it's rough. Yeah, it is. And it's rough, 
and the semis now, it's getting so bad for the semis that they're bearing over on the right into the ditch, running into the ditch because it's so rough. Talking, talking Ferndale Road, Randy, uh, um, if you go beyond the, the dam road, on, on to, toward Ferndale itself, how rough that is. Have you been out there? Yeah, I've been a couple weeks. Okay. Any Anything you want to add to where we are with that? Any plans to make that better, what are we going to do? Well, then we'll do it. Just get it passed. Okay. Okay. We will look at that for the grants that are uh, repaving, but like I said, we can only repave about 11 miles out of our 300 miles a year, so I'll, I'll, I'll we can do so. Okay. You have not been forgotten. Nothing is more frustrating to any of us than roads. That's the most frustrating because we all drive them. Well, that part of it is covered bridge comes, and that road is traveled ungodly because all the city people have finally figured out how to get the back way into Mansfield. I understand. Well, on it. they've known it a long time. Yeah. Yeah, they've known it a long and time. And it's just getting worse each year. And we get, well, obviously, then we get accused of we're only fixing the roads for the covered bridge bus. We don't fix anything else, which yeah. is not true either, so. Um, all I can say is we'll do as we can. But I, as hard as it is to believe, Ferndale, and even that section, is not the worst roads that we have that we have to fix. The ones we've uh, chose to fix. Yeah, we, we spent a whole day right, are by far the worst. Thank you very much. Nothing that 70 million bucks wouldn't fix. About 100,000 a mile, we'd be, we'd be in business. So. All right, thank you very yes, much. Yes, sir. All right. And a report to the Secretary of Education. What is that report about where the funds go? Is yes. that the one with the funds sitting here someplace and yes. got money in it? A congressional school. Yeah, how much is in it? $36,844.21. And it can't be used for anything? It's just sitting here? Is that the way that works? Yep. Yeah. You should be able to use it for loans. Yeah. To people, but yeah. I think we do that in the whole you know, The interest gets paid to the schools. Yeah. But it's a crazy. What do you need us to do? Need yes. sign. Document signed so I can send it in to the okay. state. We need a motion to be yeah. accepted. Yeah, we can accept it. I'd make that motion when we uh, accept the uh, um, annual report to the Secretary of Education and all the available funds. I'll second that. All in favor say aye. aye. Okay, cover bridge certification. This is so we have, I have to send this report into the state on how many bridges we've got. Okay. And then the state turns around and reimburses us money that we put into. How much they give us now? So it's still 1250 or the. Yeah. Around 1850, 1850, I think. About 18 I think it would be 1250. Okay, so what I thought about is the state gives us so much money for each of the covered bridges that we have. And uh, that $1,800 obviously won't do much on a bridge, but it, uh, not all of you get out, get out to work on the horsemen that you can. All right, the SBC portal contract. Okay, on this SBC portal contract, this is something that um, I had introduced to you last fall. I've already went to the council. The council has approved it. With this is the transfer books that we are going to have them become all digital. There's also also going to be a digital cabinet. The funds are already available in the platinum funds to take care of this. Okay. And with the COVID and everything else, they weren't able to get the book scanned yet, but they will be able to here um, at the end of this month, they'll fix them up. So the total contract is 35232 Yes. And money is in place to cover that? Money's in place, and okay. then after that, it will estimate anywhere from $500 to $600 a month. Okay. This is going to be total digital, so we will have, to have all the plat books digitalized. Good. We're also going to have a digital filing cabinet. Okay. That digital filing cabinet will be on everybody's computers. All our um, deduction books, they're going to be scanned in and be on a, on a portal. So then when the girls are in there doing their deductions to get that prepared for the state, all those deductions can be pulled up 
this the order will also be used to be able to um, for people to go online and file their deductions online and everything will be stored on the portal. Um, I'm also planning in the future after we get everything else up and going. This will also be used for the claims and for payroll. It's just a digital filing cabinet. All of, I'm going to scan in all of our claims from 219 all the way to the present. And then when State Board accounts come in to audit us, they can go right into that portal and pull all the claims up. Okay. It'll be faster and easier for the State Board of Accounts for audit. Okay. You guys have any questions on it? Fair motion. The motion we uh, approved the contract with, uh, I'm not sure who it is, it's IRA on here, but you've got SBC over here. Portal. So, uh, but anyway, the, the contract with SBC portal for the uh, uh, scanning of, of the documents in the audit office. I'll second that. All in favor? Okay. You're responsible. Need, need to be responsible for that. So, okay, I would just let him know. 
might let him know. I, I can call him that too if you let him know that uh, the online is available. Here's how it works, and you can you, you can go on and you don't have to prove his identity. You're just paying for a TML for that for that business, and that's all it is. So. And he expressed a concern about people being on his property illegally, but as the property owner, you can have them trespassed off your property. Yes, yeah. And that burden would fall on the property owner yeah. anyway. Yeah, the, yeah. It's county and Don't tell me that somebody came on your property and set a business right. and you didn't let them do that. Right. Yeah. I mean, the county can help if they call law enforcement, but it's not our burden to police private property. No. And Jim, I did send a copy of the ordinance saying that it is a law or an ordinance in Park County. You have to have a temporary food permit to operate a temporary because it's the same same thing with me. And he's by far the worst offender. I spend at least two days every festival getting screamed and yelled at by people who claim they didn't know they needed one, sure. which isn't true. No. But to me, that should go back on the property owner. He knows it. I talk to him every year and say, make sure they have it. Before he rents them a space, he should say, do you have a food permit? That's right. why I would pass the ordinance. They, they end up with lots of extra spots. They start getting nervous and last minute they'll let anybody do pretty much anything. I see it happen in Bridgeton. I've seen it happen. So. And it just wasn't watched very well before. You, know, you just assume people are going to do what's the right thing. We know better than that now. So we just, we had to have some some method in place to get this accomplished. Online should solve everybody's problem. There's nobody that can't take 10 minutes to go online and purchase that team up. Do they get a physical copy then mailed to them or something when they yes. do that? Okay. And, and we actually, we want them here and we want to do it yeah, online absolutely. so it is, yeah. the simpler we can make it for them, the, yeah. when the, he fills the those up with people. Be, you can't play dumb if you do that for a minute and think you're just going to wheel it somewhere and set up and with that many people. Yeah, shows it's the same thing as the there. Yes, it's... Every place. There's no place that doesn't yeah. require a permit or something yes. to do that. Yeah. Um, when he goes online and fills it out for that vendor, can it be mailed to him to give to them when they get there, or does it have to go to the address that's on their retail certificate? Wherever they would like to have it mailed to. That's what he ought to do then, just have them all bought. He buys them, send them to his place, and pass them out when they get there. There's a stack of 100 of them? Yeah. Included in his price, when, when he rents space, people include that in, in their price, and that's all taken care of then. So, that's good idea. So he's got a feasible way to do that. Do that with you, or do you have to have an individual? Um, some owners do that, like Rob Jones usually comes up and Can Todd stuff. buy like a hundred um, food permits? He food can, permit? yeah, he's, he needs to give me Hand food. them out as they come? But he needs their information. Like okay, that's why I are. said you have to have certain information yeah. on there yeah. that but he can't kind of, it'd be hard for him to do it. Pete. He can certainly buy yeah, it. Pete if wants. there are whatever, which Rob, Rob sold the biggest part of his down there. Now he, there isn't too much he owns. Really? Yeah. yeah. And he can plan for next year. house and everything. You know, when they, when they commit to coming in next year, they, they can commit, they can go ahead and pay if they want to for their team up for next year, but they don't want to pay that hundred bucks, but they could. He could take care of all this, so. All right. So, if you let him know that about the online, and I'll call him let him know too about the online, and, and uh, that, should solve, that should solve that problem. All right, ambulance. Um, I don't think she's here, is she? Julie here? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. Okay, we got some grants, and uh, I, 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 I we did a what the gold book. I'm sorry, back on Julie. She had the letter, letter yeah. about Jerry Cox. Oh, yes, his vacation. Yes, yes, we do. She was with him. I don't know how this will expire. Yeah, and we went through this with other other people before when they were just swamped with the COVID thing, and everybody, nobody, could. sheriff's office went through it with uh, with the dispatch. Uh, Bill Cook was one head. All these hours he had vacation, but he couldn't take it because somebody had to be there. So we we made an exception in those cases for people who had jobs that you had to be there. It's not fair to give up their vacation. So we just need a motion then to. Uh, I, I, I make a motion we reinstate the 85 hours for the ambulance driver that will expire the June 29th. Yes. And taking it. Work it in, I guess. I'll say. All in favor say aye. Okay. Will you let her know that we, uh, yes. we okay that then? All right. Now, we have three. Lydia's got one first. I asked her to come up uh, if she would to stop by. She had another meeting. And I was going to get you on right away, but I didn't, did I? I said they let you sit. Well, we've got a meeting coming up in 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah. So what you got? Um, I think I submitted two 
I don't really remember whether they even sent a contract for that mass vaccination. If you held it, they automatically sent you the money. We qualified based on population, so it was 5100 and some odd dollars. I uh, just found out in the last two weeks that that has to be spent by the end of June. So Tanya and I and the board talked and talked about maybe trying to get a small trailer like a Detro trailer and use it for that and then it could be used for pop-up vaccine clinics or just shot clinics if Tanya wants to do some back to school clinics, something like that. As far as I'm concerned, that's a, that's a health board decision because the money's in place. There's nothing it, special to that. It's a money. You're, you're, you're wanting to use it for that. So I'm okay with that. You guys have any questions? I'm perfectly fine with it. You, you would know more what yeah. needs done with it than we would. Can I make the motion that we approve the, the grant for the request to purchase a trader by the, uh, by the health board? And I'll second that. Bruce, got any questions on it? Good. All in favor, say aye. Okay. And then you've What else? The second one is the continuation of the vaccine clinic. I got the contract today, so pending your approval, we'll sign it and send it in. It's for $34,000 something through June of 2022. But we will also start getting reimbursement, and I didn't bring it, I can email it to you, broken down. They are billing insurance, anybody that has insurance, an administrative fee when they get vaccinated, and we get X amount per two vaccines. And there's one amount prior to March 15th and another amount after that. I'll send you that okay. chart. So that is going to come to the health department. They haven't given us specifics on what it can be used for. We know it's for continuation of the vaccine clinic. Okay. They haven't broken down what else. Okay. So if you're good with that, I'll sign that. Okay. 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 Right. We, I met with, uh, with Julie. And, is it Tanya or Tanya? How do Tanya. you say it? Tanya, okay. I would say to Tanya Tucker. I think. I okay. Um, at the, at the, they have a good plan of how to do the drive-through, and, and uh, they had a, a way to bring the, street, the road to the back door of the ambulance service, actually the side door, but it's over on that, that, that street, wherever that street is. But there were a couple of trees that come down that could make a drive-through there without driving over the manhole. Now, uh, the town of Rockville says we could straddle it and get as close to it as you want to. You just can't drive on top because it's got the uh, automatic cinder on top to go out. So want to avoid that. And uh, Randy came down and looked at it, and they're going to take the trees out and put gravel through there and make a, make a place where people can call, pull up, and get the vaccine and have a, have a drive up. The trees are out. Trees are out? They came down. We're right. Great. Now that Great. Okay. I appreciate it. <coughs> are they going to want any kind of a fee for us using the annual service? Is the ambulance service going to want a fee? I've not been a main order for okay. any request. The, Is there other the funds available for that? It, well, it's going to come out of that money, so um, there might be some. I don't know. Like I said, this is supposed to run for another year, yeah. basically. Um, Our position with the COVID, as you've been on that, that working group, has always been that uh, the county needs to do whatever the county needs to do to, to make our people as safe as we possibly can. But there are, there are lots of pots of money out there. We've got to make sure that we access all those pots of money right. to bring that money into the county and use the work can best be used. So it's not that I have an issue, but the problem is like with the, the money that had to go to the fair board, they're balking because there wasn't a memorandum of understanding or a contract in place before we started, and they don't like to submit something post fact. Well, we just had to work that out because everything was covered by that working group, and, and so everything that was agreed upon was what was going to happen. If there hadn't been something in place, then well, we need to make sure we. And I, I knew there'd been talk, but I never even knew anything about it, and it was already like it was already paid, and it went out of the wrong account. Oh. So since that's in my name, the state's honking at me about coming back on me. So well, let's figure that out. Just so that's need, what you need, what need, need to be yeah, done. Invoices just need to come to me first. And okay. It all needs to be in place beforehand. Okay. okay. But if they tell us what that insurance money can be used for, then we can probably work something. And I have a meeting on the 10th. We have a meeting actually on the 10th about how this, uh, um, 
what's it called, the Relief America, American Relief, whatever it's called, um, is how that money can be spent, 3.8 million, how it can be spent. So if we have other needs in order to enhance, the worst part, the, the part that always bothers me is we still have, have people, and you have some on your board, I know that, well, Park County doesn't need to be doing that. They can go with some other county and get that. And I'm, all, I'm absolutely opposed to that. I think we need to do whatever we can for people. And I know a lot of people come from outside the county come here to get their stuff. That's okay, as long as we're taking care of our people in the same process. That's what we're here for. I'm still waiting on the test information. One woman from the state says she's fairly certain since we're doing it and we have an interest in continuing that we will be able to, Good. but have not heard from okay. the big chiefs. I just hope we all work together to get that get that up and running as best as we possibly can and serve our people as best we can. And I know there'll be outsiders come and use it. That's okay. Because the other choice is we send our people and become outsiders some other county. So I'd rather we have to do it right here for our folks as long as we can afford to do that. Yep. Thanks, Lou. Appreciate right, thank it. Okay, get your meeting, ladies. <laughs> Chris O'Brien. Chris also has a, has a uh, request that he's uh, got bids on. He sent it. He got emails. Yeah, yeah. 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 So there were two bids. The first one was for the uh, the grant to convert our um, and our JS data into an NG911 standard. I recommend we go with the WTH Technologies. The other two companies were good, and although WTH wasn't the cheapest, it was by far the best when you look at long-term why we're going to, if there's something wrong with it, we can always call them and say. We'll always be that to you as long as Nick's okay with it. I, I looked at all, okay. all of that. Okay. I didn't have any, but any, I make any of the that three. We approve the contract with for the conversion of the data to uh, uh, WTH uh, per the uh, uh, director's request. And I'll second that. All in favor say aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, the next one is the, um, so this is a state homeland security grant that we received to buy um, cameras and stuff. And so these mobile camera trailers, uh, we're buying three of them. And uh, I, I recommend we go with the, the IBC, the industrial video and control company, um, the three trailers that they had. There is, um, no cost to the county because it's all 100% reimbursable from the state. Um, these cameras had the, the best quality when it came to cameras and some of the connectivity equipment. Also, they, um, also the service, I was able to find somebody who knew how to use these cameras and then the systems that are the Wi-Fi systems and he, he's a local person. He's already worked with the Sheriff's Department on some of their, their camera stuff. And so that's why I chose that company. And we think maybe we can use this at the recycling, one of them at the recycling place when we're not using them other things. So there's all kinds of possibilities for them. So I wonder what that was going to be used for. Originally, it's, so it's, um, it's termed under anti-terrorism in which to um, help protect soft targets. In this case, it was a covered bridge festival. The general plan was that we would we have three of them. We put one up in Rockville, one down in Bridgeton, and one in Mansfield. Um, and that way, you'd be able to um, you have video of what's going on. So one, if there was an investigation, um, anything from counterfeiters to people doing all kinds of stuff, it would help uh, the, the detective having video footage of what was going on. The other thing it's gonna help is um, help those individuals, you know, first responders go and see exactly what's happening. We should be able to work this out where we can view that at the, uh, at the different stations, you know, the, the little outlets that we have set up at the um, at the different areas and also in the dispatch so it's going to add some clarity to what's going on in the situation is this a tower cam then you're talking it is about a tower cam yeah is yes. it a 360 yes, yes. Okay. there's so going to be three cameras on it there's going to be a 360 camera and two points of zoom and they're yeah. solar powered so you don't have to make them cheaper because you don't you have, have a generator, have yeah. generator and they should be stored in, in it Yes. And could be sent Wi Fi to, to the company if we want to choose to go to that service sometime, which we can or can't, but we always have it anyway. Okay, I'm following you now. What's the number of that uh, unit again? Letters IBC or IBC? That what yeah, IBC. Okay. I make a motion that we uh, approve uh, the uh, purchase of the uh, IBC camera setup. And I'll second that. All in favor say aye. Oh, okay. And those are all monies in place. So that's all great. Yeah, Thanks. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Chris. Okay, accounts payable, ACH. Yes, my cash pay, my new cash payable person would like to see if it would be possible to have uh, the following.
for the gas company, the credit card, the trade service, the copier, ATT, Bloomdale Telephone, Town of Rockville, Wells Fargo, the MasterCard, and Vectron. These are just some of the ones that are paid on a monthly basis through your claims. Right, now you're talking about you're still electronically. Yeah, she wants to be able to see if we can't do them the ACH. You guys have any reason not to do them quicker? Do you need paper trail? I don't, I can't answer the question. I've been out too long. Nick is going to have to answer. I don't know if the laws have changed to allow for this. When I was there, you couldn't do that. Yeah, that's so that's what, have a check. back of my head screaming, but you have to have a check. I, but um, I think we need I've been to been out for a while. I know Puppy County has changed all theirs over to ACH. So that doesn't mean they're right, though. But I think we have to have a resolution or something to do that. We already have code and done with that. You've got You want to look at it? I can research it, but I feel it. more comfortable you guys not approving it until we do at least yeah, research I don't think we'll it. Yeah, tonight, but you've got staff coming in doing audits here before long. Tomorrow. You know who's coming? Um, it doesn't matter. Is it Melissa? Griffin is no, she? No, um, I don't. I don't believe. Um, maybe with them. I think they might know the answer to that. Yeah. Guys named I've never seen before. Okay. Will be there. Well, my thinking is ask the board of accounts okay. if they're allowing this. Because, like Nick said, just because Putnam did it mm -hmm. doesn't mean they're right. Okay. <laughs> I saw it all the years. I'm not yeah. sure Jim's seen it. Uh, but the point being is check with the board of accounts, okay. people who will be coming in very soon, and just ask them is this. A new law, or is this a new development that, that the board of accounts has approved? Okay. So I've just been out too long. I've lost track of, of what they allow and what they sure. don't, and what the laws have changed. Sure. I don't I look I don't look the laws like I used to, but I can tell you when I was there, there's no way this could have been done. And probably and as long as they can produce a law of what was paid, that's probably the same as having a check. But, but like you said, who knows how? It's right. Uh, I mean, I can't speak to the last year, but in some time since I got involved in municipal law, I've seen where it's not allowed. Right. So I'd want to see know. where it is allowed before you guys take that leap. Right. Well, let's just table it then until uh, next time. Right? Sounds good. Okay. okay. And the order. It's just like you and I, everybody, not everybody. Yeah. I, <laughs> I don't do electronic banking, but many people pay their bills. Electronically, yeah, on their computer, they just they don't write checks anymore. Yeah. Um, and so, this just goes the flow with what we do personally, or a lot of people do personally. It's just again with government, with that paper trail, yeah. and and the responsibility to the taxpayers. Um, if someone would come in and say, uh, you know, prove to me to this or that, you don't have a check. You don't have any. Yes, yes, sir. We do already have the resolution set up to do Culligan. We've been doing Culligan for a long time through ACH. It's paid, that's the only one that's been paid monthly. Yeah, a separate ACH. account where I pull up the log and can show where each check is there and you pull up the photograph of the check, all that. You like to see already being okay with that, but right now yeah. it's all mixed up. the register of the ACH because we do a monthly, right. the monthly um, distribution of the lid. That goes through the ACH to all your township trustees and all that. Look, and we have a list of all payroll, that. Payroll, you don't write checks for payroll anymore. No. So there, there's, there's even stuff that you can't, you are doing. Right. Okay. I'm just not familiar. I, mean, I don't keep up with it enough like I used to. That's so right. double check with the staff. Let Nick do some research. Anything else on your, uh, on your report? Um, yeah. Um, the ARP grant has been, a, I've applied for that, for the money. When I went to this, they had a state board accounts um, with all the auditors. And during that meeting, they were notifying us how to go in there and apply for that money. And the audit, that all has to be done through the auditor. Um, probably 75% of the auditors have already done it. So I went in and I've got ours applied for. You, there's a lot of red tape. You have to go into the U.S. Treasury. I had to give them my driver's license, my social security number, and all. And How much did we grant? Three and a half million. Wow. Okay. That's for that ARP. Right. But there's a lot of steps that the auditor has to do before the county can even begin the process. Okay. 
Um, right now I'm doing the settlement. It has already been sent to the state, and I've been checking my email all day to while I'm waiting for approval. As soon as I get that approval, that money will be moved out the door real quick. Sure. And starting as of tomorrow, the State Board of Council will be coming in and doing our audit for 19 and 20. Okay. Anything, questions for the order, guys? Okay. Um, I have a couple things here um, in new business before we move on to old business. Um, I would like to. Um, I got a call about a, a property. I think it's 100 North. John Frazier, is that his house on 100 North, where Purples are out there, is that 100 North? Where you go up uh, Cook Road and turn left, is that 100? That is 100. Okay. I'm not sure where he lives. That, that is it then. Yeah. So, uh, 100 South. 100 South? Okay. Um, I drove out there and there's stuff cleared out by the edge of the road. In fact, that piece, big piece of equipment, you, you couldn't get by the, a couple of those uh, trailer tops there. Yeah, he just brought in a, well, it's just, it's just a lot of stuff. So I think we need to have uh, the Planning Commission, Cassie, go see violations. She may want an escort to do that, if you can take care of that, to go out there. I think she said some issues. I was going to say, I think her and the, the court, when they were supervising them on a yeah. probation thing. It's so. an awful, it's an awful mess out there now. Yeah. If you've been oh, out yeah. there, it's awful. So it needs to be rectified as quickly as can. So. I would make the motion that we authorize the Planning Commission to proceed uh, uh, with the cleanup effort uh, on that property uh, uh, on 100. I'll second. All fair say aye. Aye. So I'll let Cassie know we need to do on that unless that's something you want to do. I mean, you're involved with it already, it sounds like, so whatever. I can. Yep. We're, we're in a legal process, so it's mainly way on a forfeiture for the property. I just don't know. Okay. So is it Frazier or is it Purples? Purples. Purples. So, so we're already in court with them on the ordinance violations on their properties. Okay, good. Um, so we get, do we let that play out then? Well, I mean, if it's a different property, I, I guess I'd coordinate Same property, with Cassie. Stuff. All right, I'd probably run it through Cassie then just to make okay. sure we're not duplicating. Okay. Um, this is coming in the last a month or so after okay. we've got traders right out I mean right out at the edge of the road it's in our right way there were some issues in the court proceedings from them also so she ought to take somebody with her okay yes. okay so yeah if Justin take care of that then um, we have road commission uh, meeting in the morning and that will be here at 8 o'clock and obviously we're not making any decisions I mean that's just an information gathering meeting um, but we may come up with a consensus of some requests to make at some point to the council, and I'd like to do that before the next council meeting. Would you guys be available to have a special commissioner's meeting prior to uh, uh, the council meeting, either the same day or a different day? I don't know what you're yeah, scheduled to look like. Post, I don't work at hand. That's what has to be done. Do you have any time to meet? They meet the second Thursday, is that correct? It's Thursday, the 10th. The 10th. Yes. I got to be months in the evening that I'm available for earlier in the day on the 10th. Um, I, my 10th is, is pretty full, let me think here. What, what, got. what about tomorrow after we... I was going to add, I don't know how much notice we have to get for special meetings. Uh, as long as you give them notice at the time when it's planned, I think you're okay. Okay. So, uh, we'd want to give notice immediately okay. of it. Then let's plan that, that after our meeting That's, tomorrow morning. Uh, you got time? Yes. Uh, you got time tomorrow? To All right, then I'm going to call a special meeting then at the adjournment of the Road Commission meeting in the morning, and that should our start time should be possibly 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock is what I would have said. Okay. Yes. So, so, Laura, you'll want to send a... Are you going to take notes? On a special meeting? Yeah. Somebody have to take yeah. notes. Um, we need to send a formal advisement to whoever you normally notify for our meetings that there's going to be a special meeting, and we also need to post it at the door. Okay. And and uh, we don't have to have that for the commission meeting because that's not any no, decision no, being no, made. That's just a commission decision. But a special meeting, we may have, to, and we may cancel that if we don't come up with a consensus. So we don't have anything to propose. We can cancel that, but we need to have it announced so we could have it if we need to have it. So, so it's nine o'clock tomorrow. Nine o'clock. Tomorrow, tomorrow nine morning. o'clock. Way of and I need to just send it out to, out to all the council members and who else? The media, whoever you normally notify media wise. I can do that, do that right after this meeting. Okay, that'd be great, thanks. Yeah, the Road Commission will meet at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock, right. 9 o'clock, we need the Commissioner's special meeting if 
anything to have a four-way emergency? Normally, you'd have to give them 48 hours notice, but since it's kind of an emergency yeah. basis yeah. to get something done prior to okay. council meeting. As long as you give them notice at the time you're becoming aware of it. Okay. Um, I had a request uh, from the company doing the county and town auction coming up. Is that this this weekend? Coming this weekend? Saturday, yeah. David Hayes or Hayes Auctioneer. They've asked to put a big sign, a four bay sign, in, in the yard of the courthouse. We don't let people do that individuals, but this is a county auction and a town auction, so is there a reason not to allow them to let Main Street do that on their on their county wide things that they do? Is this advertisement for the week, or is this just the day they're having the auction? What are we talking about here? He'll put it up probably as soon as he can. Yeah, take yeah I would assume probably by tomorrow, if, if it's approved, I would guess. And this is for the county properties that's going to have town yeah. properties that this to be so. Yeah. It's a joint auction between yeah. the two. Yeah. So where they have that at? How that? Just down by the town utilities, around the police department, the fire department, the utility building. Just kind of okay. Here. My next question is: Is this just a standard sign advertising for him, or is this advertising for this that sale and where it will be? Yeah, I think that sale and where's I have no the time problem. and the location. I have no problem with that. If he's just yeah. using it for general advertisement, no, 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 it's just for the auction. Yeah, I have no problem if it's okay. for the auction that's benefiting the county and the town. Are you okay with that, Bruce? Mm -hmm. Then I make that motion that we allow the. Uh, Auctioneer to post a um, site and time specific uh, sign on, on the courthouse square uh, up until the uh, auction. I'll submit that. All in favor say aye. Okay. Um, purpose taken care of. All right. I think it's all the rest I got except for Randy. So. I got two things if you got to say. I got, yeah. What you got? Um, so we've talked about amending the ordinance as far as the uh, labeling on vehicles. We had one where we were doing it for solicitation for construction, revamping, that kind of stuff. And I was asked to draft one that would address common carriers or parcel delivery because there's been a lot of crime going around where it's they're coming out pretending to be or maybe even are contracted with a parcel delivery system and then they come back later and they're robbing people or stealing things. Right. Um, so this would address that. It just requires that a common carrier, in addition to what we'd previously passed, would have to have labeling on their vehicles or somebody contracted by them. I had a plain, white, beat-up, rusty old trailer come delivered a FedEx package to me the other day. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, they, they could simply just yeah. Post something on the side of the yard that says FedEx, or yeah. on their vehicle says yeah. FedEx and a phone number yeah, or whatever. But it at least gives people Sorry. a heads up as to what it is Sorry. because there's been some crime. I, I don't know about locally, Justin might know, but throughout the state. The guy got out. They wouldn't even in uniform, just in regular clothes, and he brought this FedEx package. To so this would give law enforcement the ability well, so to. Actually a package? Yeah, it's a FedEx package. They have old beat up out vans. That's why I'm on this one. It's uh, they're hiring anybody to deliver stuff. They're so far behind. Yeah, and, and so like he said, you could put a magnet on there, or, you know, some type of adhesive, whatever. Which but is good anyway, but at least you'd have something to go back. To. Right. Yeah. It gives law enforcement the ability to at least investigate and yeah. see if they violated our ordinance or not. So what do you need from us? Uh, if you're in agreement, just a motion to amend that ordinance. I had as 2021 dash one. Well, you're okay with it. 2021 dash one is what the original one was. This would be one A. At least that's what my records look like as far as the original. Section one A. Right here. Yeah. Those are the commercial yeah. parcel we had already talked about those in construction. Right. right. Yeah. He was going to put it. I just added the commercial parcel delivery or common carriers language to it. That's your motion to do it. But yeah, I have the motion to be uh, approved for this 2021-1A, which amends a previous ordinance on the uh, vehicle requirement. And I'll say that. All fair say aye. Aye. So that's the same day, same meeting, too. Okay. And then we got to publish that. You got one on your side? Sir. That one, that's the only one I got. Yeah. It has to be published because it's not active for 30 days so until after we publish. 
they did give law enforcement the ability to investigate a little easier on things and, you know, kind of hold well, them accountable. Well, and also homeowners when they right. wonder if somebody's legit or not. Right, I mean, you know, I, I've had that. They pulled up in my front driveway and the dogs are barking and you look out the window and this, Nothing. you know, what is it's that? like, well... This guy was scary looking. Of course, I get that feeling when I look in the mirror. Cool. <laughs> And so the other thing I had was a resolution assigning tax sale parcels to the Redevelopment Commission. You may remember earlier in the year we had done that, but the, the title company's title search didn't come back timely, and so we missed our deadline on noticing. So this would just be reassigning the same parcels, and they're attached to Exhibit A here. Uh, but it starts the process over for us to send them to redevelopment. Redevelopment it has got buyers lined up for the parcels. Okay. So. So that'd just be a resolution, and I don't know what the original resolution number was. I was going to say, well, this would be a new resolution. It's a new resolution. We really are not amending or doing anything no. to the original. The original one's expired. So yeah, it has failed one. by yeah, operational law. Sir, that's 105. 05, okay. Yeah. So this would just be reassigning them, but the first one has failed by operation of law because the time requirement. So this is just new. Well, I'll make a motion that we uh, approve resolution 2021 5, which uh, assigns tax sale certificates to the Redevelopment Commission. No, I'll second that. All those fair say aye. Aye. Do you need that back? No, I'll, I'll, I'll get it from Laura. Okay. She's usually pretty good about emailing me those kind of things. I should have signed it before. Yes, you should. I thought it was coming back this what way. What do you think? It was coming back this way. So that would make SRI have to reissue those tax sale certificates, Laura. Okay. okay. We've crossed out the ones we had a problem with before, so it shouldn't be an issue. Is that it for you? Yeah, I don't have anything else. Okay. You guys got any old business? No. I lied to you. Hey, don't lie. I did have one other thing. Um, we had a former employee for the park where we had some issues. I just wanted to let you know that I've cleared that up. I've talked Good. to her attorney. There's no litigation. Yeah, Everything resolved. appears to be Good. resolved. Good. Okay. Uh, that was the only other thing I had. Your gym's been giving you a rough time. It's an old it, it's an agency of discrimination, so I, I qualify for that. So. <laughs> I'm kind of old people here. I think you're my king. Justin, you're up. Finally, you're thinking. Finally, I was going to say, I should be brief. He got walked out twice. <laughs> uh, 71 in jail currently. Four of them are Department of Correction inmates. Um, we built about 2,000 for May for out of county and DOC holding. Uh, 72,378 for the year so far. And last week or two weeks ago, we got notified of our USDA grant that we put a request in for. We've got that. It's about 15 grand. Great. So that'll help purchase one new car. This year it'll be a 2022 Tahoe, and then I think we're going to buy one with the commissary money, so we'll have two for okay. the end of the year. It'll be September, October, November, probably, before we can get those. So to fully interrupt you, Uncle, you're on, on a roll here. <laughs> What kind of things do we have available at this auction that we're selling? Um, firearms and one, uh, I don't remember, 20, I don't know if it's a 2012 or 2013 Dodge Charger. Yeah. It's a civilian version. It was a four-footer car we got. Okay. And by law, you can use them for three years, and then you have to sell them. But we used it as a school resource car. Gotcha. Firearm sales, how does that work as far as background checks and stuff? How does that work? They, uh... <sighs> We just kind of got in, like, on the tail end of Rockville's plan one anyway, the town and the police department, street department. But uh, they are having a firearms dealer that will be there okay. to do that. Okay. So if I come in and I get to hide in on a, on, a, on a revolver of some kind, I have to wait to get it? Or can you do it? There's a crime for felons in possession, Jim. <laughs> But you won't get it immediately. I think there'll be like a certain amount of hold period on it would be my thought on it. The one we did a couple of months ago, we had a firearms dealer on site, oh, okay. and he ran everything then. Now, there, there was about an hour wait, okay. but most of the people waited okay. to go through that. Okay. I think that's the way it's going to be again for this okay. one. But. Have you picked up that many more, or why did they not get sold at the there, There's a few that we ended up with since the last auction. 
but some of them we just could never ever get to. We had such, I think we sold like 180 a month or two ago. Really? And How we just you... couldn't get to all of them to get them ready and listed. And... Okay. How long does it take to get 180 weapons? Well, we had a lot more than that, but the laws have changed over the years. Really? That, well, a lot of people were getting their criminal records wiped out because they hadn't been in trouble for X number of years. Okay. So they were felons before where they couldn't have them. Now they have no criminal history or record. Right. So now they could get them. So we had to give a lot of guns back. But then wow. you had several years worth. Cause oh, yeah. We, we, we just, never, ever had a yeah. gun auction that yeah. I remember. Yeah. I think we had, yeah. Got yeah. Car 22 or 23 years since I've been around. Wow. So. Okay. so the statute, if they're allowed legally to have them, requires you to try to at least give them back, back if they can them. legally yeah. have them. But if they can't legally possess it, then you're able to sell it. Or if you can't find them. All right. Is that it? Uh, let's see. Man, all that time you waited for that. Right. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. I think that's it. You're happy with the uh, lighting agreement we have out there? They oh, yeah. Okay yeah. For you. You're happy with that? Okay, good. Yeah. Haven't had any issues with anything yet. So. Okay. Have you had any, didn't have to come back and make any repairs or replacements or anything? Not yet. Okay, I'm just curious when that does come up. What yeah. they are, they brag about how, I mean, that was one of their sales points, how quickly their 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 guys in property release was at the time anyway. I'm curious on the response time with you. Yeah. Now, if we had like a bulb and, you know, the admin there or something like that, we'll probably do it ourselves. I but, it. yeah, if it's like a parking lot light or one yeah. of them in the, one of the bigger blocks where it's 30 foot up here, and we'll definitely call them, okay. so. But yeah, so far nothing yet. Okay. We need uh, something to do a evaluation on the bills and see how the bills look if we are saving the money with, with all we be saving on that and see how that works. All right. Thanks, sir. Yep. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Thanks, Justin. Have a good evening, Justin. Finally, Randy, the last on the list. We're doing good. Yeah. Thanks for being available tomorrow. Appreciate it. Yeah. The first thing I have, I have a claim for VS Engineering for bridge inspection in the amount of $6,907.62. Make a motion to approve. Make a motion to approve the out of cycle check for Randy for. Was it out of stock check? Yeah. Okay, for $6,907.62 for bridge inspection at VS Engineering. All in favor say aye. 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 Well, I guess we seconded that. Second. You're shaking your head, yeah. Do you guys need me for anything, or do you care if I run to the town meeting? Yeah. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Can you take this with you? Yeah. You get back to the later, but they're not accepted on the done. No, because it's 100%. Veteran. Oh, okay. Call me. Yeah. Yeah. Just call me and stop pretending. You available you. tomorrow morning night? Are you able to be here for that? I don't know that we need to hear it. I just didn't know if you were planning on being here or not. I hadn't back in, probably. Well, if you're going to be in town, we'll let you know if you have a question, you need something. You don't want to be bothered? Or if we'd send you a text if we have. Yeah, if you need something, I'll be over at the office okay. so I can come over if Don't you need something. You can come, or we can just wait till we text you, whichever way you want to do it. I'll probably wait on your text. Okay. I can be useful in other ways. Okay. Thank okay. you, guys. Thanks, Thanks, man. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Keep the town in line. I apologize for me not being there. Oh, well, I'm sure they miss you. I bet they do. <laughs> <laughs> this is an agreement for the closure of 59 for them to use. Uh, 900 South, 775 East, and, okay. and uh, 720 South. Need your signature. Okay. Is that something new? 720. That's south of the Covered Bridge. Yeah, south of Mansfield. Yes. Okay. No, not the Mansfield Bridge. You want over at Base. So that comes in right south of there. Seven. Oh. They're going east or west? No, it's four or fifty-nine close here. I understand. And is the, it the east side road or west side? Would be the east side. Okay. The uh, unofficial detour was nine hundred south and seven seventy-five east and seven twenty south. Okay. 
grant you there's people used the other way too. But yeah, that, that. that was yeah, a, but the only thing I was thinking about, yeah, going the other way if they miss a turn right there through that bridge, covered bridge. Uh, so basically the roads we was on yeah. the other day, 900, mm -hmm. and we was talking about redoing in that little one I had this question. 775. All right. Is this for the closure they have now, or the one coming up? No, the one they have now. Okay, I thought it was. And see, we had three weeks for your meeting, uh, so yeah, yeah. we've when, been holding that. When they, uh, we're going to be done with that? I thought this month sometime. Yeah, I thought it was like today or tomorrow, but maybe yeah, the signs are still up today. Okay, okay. Uh, somebody asked. I just had a meeting day with uh, this morning. Uh, I was saying Brad Thompson. And he told me there's a possibility it might be two to three more weeks. Oh, really? Okay. All right. So we uh, need to sign this. Uh, so I make the motion we accept the uh, uh, agreement with uh, NDOT as far as a unofficial uh, detour uh, for the uh, repairs on the uh, large culvert on 59. I'll second. Uh, All in favor say aye. Is the one up going to be closed until August the 22nd? No, well, that'll be the bridge, the bridge. I think. Yeah. yeah it's going to be one lane, lane, I think. Yeah. We'll be having a yes, they traffic, are have a traffic, on. traffic signal on that. Yes, they are. And that's going to stay open. Page. Should I 
Yes. Yeah. That's us. That's be her. Okay. You're on the first page of the file. Yes, yeah, says says clerk or L A on local your... public agency. That's all I have. I think I've had something. Okay. I got a question for you. I'm going to throw you a curve and I'll pick your brain. Can you tell me how many mile road is in gravel road is in each township? Uh, no, I can't run off the top of my head, but I can get that. You, you can come up with each township, how many mile gravel roads in each one? Can, yes. Okay. Very I'm curious. seeing any 
unknown respiratory things now like we did in the beginning of the COVID thing when we don't really didn't know what the respiratory problems were that people were getting, then they identified that. Are we seeing any continuing respiratory problems and numbers outside of the usual normal kind of respiratory things? I'm not having anything. Okay. So maybe we're getting okay on that then, maybe. Hope so. Well I, I appreciate you being there. I think it's I think it's great. I think it's great to have an active county nurse and, and uh, I'm watching closely up. because on the back next month is when we started increasing our number in cases. So if anything's going to say whether or not we're doing a good job, right. it's going to be in the next couple months. Right. So fingers crossed. Right. Yep, let's hope that, is. hope that goes off the way the other one is. And I'm working on uh, the revenue opportunities. Right. And that is really significant. I mean, I know what I want to get full time every day, all the time. So that those revenue streams are going to be so important to get that get that taken care of. Is there anything that you guys can think that nope. you would like to see offered in the county by health department? Um, I'm going to do CPR, TB, um, skin test certifications, um, anything the state will fund and provide for me to do for free for the county. I want to get it. Period. Just be able to offer it. See, that's a, that's a change in attitude that I'm thrilled with that we have over my lifetime. These guys, I'm sure, have seen the same thing. Even when there were funds available to do things, I can give an example. A few years ago, we had a guy who was uh, an intern at nursing at, uh, at uh, ISU, and they could have come and done a vaccine clinic at no cost to the county, but those people making those decisions didn't want to be bothered with it, so it didn't happen. Even though the funds were there, it wasn't going to cost them anything, they just didn't want to be bothered. And that bothers me that we're not offering services to our people that we could have available. Now I think it's changed the other way. That's why I'm so excited that we're interested in keeping the vaccine going and the, and the testing clinic going. Those are services we can provide for people and they're paid for by funds on, on not, our, not our residential tax dollars, tax dollars obviously, but it comes from grants. And I'm thrilled that we're offering all the things we can. And I don't think that would happen if, if uh, the people involved in that uh, working group were involved. And I, I'm, I appreciate your interest in all that stuff. So thanks. Thank you. You guys got anything? I don't. No. Thanks, Tommy. Yep. Yeah. It's only like 20 or 6. I got another half hour, so I'll be guys to talk. No? Okay. Is there a motion to adjourn? Make a motion to adjourn. Or adjourn. Yeah.